Welcome to Harvest Town. This is a new game, uh, early access on the Google Play Store, and it is um, beta. So there will probably be changes, although it does say on the notification um, you can play the game and we'll not delete your record after the beta test. So that's quite nice because I think this will go on for a while. I think it's a long term game, really. Uh, we've just clicked on Fancy Carp, and that's apparently the server. It's the recommended server, and it is the only server I can choose. So I'm going to enter town, and see what this brings us. And it's obviously going to check for updates. Let's hope it doesn't give me a massive update at the start of this video. Bit of an intro screen. I'll not read that. Obviously, you can read the uh, the screen. Okay. Give us a little background to start with. Graphics are very pixelated, but I think that's that's the style of the game. It's quite a nice intro, actually. That's very cinematic. And despite the pixelated graphics, it's quite pleasant looking so far. I like that. Oh, is this my name? Um, right. Let's have a look. Um, it will be PG Pocket Gaming Vampire. How about that? And we got different looks. Uh, well, I'm clicking on these, it doesn't seem to be changing a great deal. We'll just go middle of the road and then we'll have a look. That's the female, and obviously, I'm going to go with the male and confirm. Did that confirm? It did confirm. Excellent. Right, here we go. Heading to the harvest town. A bit of fish in there. As far as I've made been made aware, or what I've read, it's a kind of it's sort of sandbox game. So you're not strictly limited to certain patches and placement of things. As far as I know, I could be completely wrong with that, but this is what I've seen so far, and that kind of appeals to me. A little bit of open gaming is quite nice and I'm not sure why we're on a server I don't know if that's just to save the game or whether we can actually interact with other people I will find out because obviously at this point in time I know nothing about the game this is quite a long loading screen I'm not sure what it's actually loading ah here we go so uh, Whoa, that's all a lot quick. Wow, that's that's very quick. We speed speed down. There we go. Slow it down a bit. Right, well she had a very quick conversation with me and she's wandering off with a cow. <laughs> that's fine. Um I've got also I've got the um Young people will leave this place sooner or later. I have the sound on, but it's only background sound at the moment. Uh, I'm hoping that's not too loud on the video. Right, yeah, question mark. That's what I was wondering. Oh, did I make him jump? No. I'm back, and my wish has come true. Okay. Okay, I might speed this up. This is Harvest Town, right? I'm back. Yes. What? He's not much help, this guy, is he? Weren't you leaving? Right, speed it up. 
Sorry if you wanted to read that, but I'm sure if you want to play the game, it would be great. <laughs> I'm sure it's all very interesting. Right, so what do we have? Ah, here we go. Right, so remove the mess nearby to create enough empty land for farming. Now click the tool button to start. Uh, oh, we've got a little display as well. Yeah, tool button. Okay, yeah, get it. I've got it. Click the tool button. Okay, this is quite interesting. Okay, we've got enough. Switch to use hoe to plough three land and then sow the seeds, lastly water them. Right, okay. Got that. Got that. Got that. And got that. Yep. And then the water, yeah. Keep in mind only lands that can be ploughed while grassland cannot. You can either long press the tool button or directly click the land to plough it. And Right, okay. Let's see. Right, I'm going to finish off... Um, oh, we can't finish off foraging at the minute. So we'll do that. <coughs> Excuse me. And right, we'll click that. Okay, I'd rather not... Ah, there we go. I was going to say, I'd rather not plough under that tree. Here we go. Right, plough there. Okay, right, here we go. We've got this. That's not laid out very well, is it? Water. No, that one. There we go. That 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 ploughed land is really ugly, but well, hopefully I can sort that out later on. Right, eat some food to recover your vit or vitality when it's insufficient. Okay. This is a fish I just hooked. Give it a try. Uh, go into the bag. Uh, that fish looks kind of cute. I don't really want to eat that. Recover 200 vitalities. That sounds a lot. How much have I got vitality-wise? I've no idea. Close that and close that. Okay. Oops, I think that made me sick. <laughs> right, uh, I briefly read that. Now it's going on about money, right. This is the order van which accepts orders from all over the world. It's the main source to earn money. Right now there is an order for hay. Go complete it. Click the order. Click the van to complete the order for hay. Uh, I guess this top one's done. Is it load? Well, that was easy enough. You know what? It saddens me every time I come here. Does it really, mate? This place once brought honour to our town. Oh, is this a dream? Wow, so... Well... So that's what it could look like. That would be really nice if we could get it like that. Um, right, the night time has been dangerous recently. Stay at home at night. Oh, and everyone must be happy about your decision. These are for you. Come on, you will be our pride too. Yeah, give me some diamonds. 60 diamonds, a fishing rod. 10 milk, or 10 mini milk, a chest, 500 coins. Thanks, dude. It's very generous of him. <laughs> right, so... Oh, now what? Still still going, are we? The order van, the order van has... I don't, know, I don't know what we turned, I assume... Now go to the hospital and pay Dr. Lee a visit. He's very concerned about you and will be glad to know your decision. Oh, map. So we'll look at the map. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, okay, so that'll be the first big building on the left. Can't seem to scroll across the map, so we'll leave that for now. Yeah, I know. I need to go there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. If you have more questions, check the guidance settings. Uh, settings is also where you can manually save the game process. You better do it every time before you quit the game. Right, so must remember to save manually before I quit each game. Right, okay, so. Uh, oh, homeless Bobby. Complete any purchase to get Bobby. 
Okay, we're not doing any purchases at the minute. This is just a bit of a review. Oops, I'm trying to go this way. Oh, can I collect those coins? Oh yeah, claim. Oops. 175 coins. Excellent. Right, let's move on. And we will go to the hospital, was it? Must be this place. Hospital, yes. Okay, it's telling me to go there. What do you want? <laughs> uh, do I want shop? We'll go chat. What's up? Staying healthy starts from adjusting your breath. Come on, take a deep breath with me. Um, let's do shop. I can't remember what the quest was for this, but obviously we can change our appearance here. Uh, and purchase uh, potions. Excellent. Okay. Right, well my recording software just um, <laughs> shut down on me there. So, where were we? I Hopefully I can fit this into the back end of that last little clip. If not, this is probably episode one, part two. Um, so let me just check this quest and see what we have to do. Uh, tell the traditional Chinese medicine doctor, Li Hua, that you will stay. Your decision to leave has been bothering him. His hospital is not far from the manor. Right. Um, so let me see if I can walk to there. I can't seem to walk to there. Chat. What's up? Uh, chat. Don't rush around all day long. Um, why can't I actually walk to that part there? Well, I've got to go around here and talk to him. The doctor. Let me click the doctor. Ah, here we go. Right, doctor. Still want to leave. I'm so sad. <clears throat> uh, I said that they wear masks in daily lives in the metropolis. Uh, right, mm, I've decided to stay. Really, you'll stay great. Foxy was sad about this chatting with me yesterday. Now go to the grocery and tell Foxy this good news. And I got a mini milk, 20 diamonds and 100 coins. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let me check the quest again. And that's updated for the doctor. Or grocery keeper. Right. So let's come out of the hospital. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm a little confused because on the displays it showed that on the left hand side of the screen you had a little um, like a joypad to move uh, but it doesn't have that. I have to press where I want to go. Not a problem. I'm not too worried about that. It still moves fine. It runs okay. Grocery world. Let's have a look see where this is. Oh, that's rank. I don't want rank. <laughs> I'm not ranked anywhere at all at the moment. And I'm pressing buttons all over the place. Right, map. Uh, close store, bar, resort. Ah, grocery store, right down here. Grocery keeper. So, opposite end of the tree in the middle of the park, is it? We'll find it. Let's go. Okay, it looks quite far away, but actually it's, it really wasn't, is it? Um, was it this one? Do I have to go on? Uh, yeah, this looks like the place. Come on, go in. There we go. Grocery, right. Here's Foxy. Let's have a chat. Now, do I say chat this time? What's up? No, grocery keeper. I knew you'd come back. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and Santa Claus here. Yeah? Uh, the revival of your manor has just begun and there's a bunch of things to do. First, go find the smith, David, to sharpen your tool, which can greatly improve your efficiency. Tool? Yep, I'm talking about your rusty scrap. Rusting scrap. <laughs> uh, more diamonds, more milk, more coins. Very nice. So I think this is getting us familiarised with everybody in the town. Um, yeah, I, 
I've forgotten already which who said to go see David at the Smithy in the Eastern Town. Okay. Uh, oh, he's over here, I see. Right. So, over the bridge, down a little bit, over the next bridge. We got this. I'm liking this. It's it's kind of it's pleasant. Even the graphics. I'm I'm not worried about the graphics or anything like that. It's abs actually really nice. Oh, I've just walked past the smithy. Is here. I think I can get on with this game. I'm going to have a playthrough of this. I think. Um, what do you want? They're all a bit rude, aren't they? What do you want? Um, right, shop. Uh, whetstone, silver ore, copper ore, gold, transport, scroll, upgrades, upgrades, crack, he sells crack, what, what's crack? Ah, okay, so tools and stuff, right, okay, commodities, right, excellent, okay, so we don't need to do that, what do we need to do, I keep forgetting, uh, so go find David, upgrade your axe to a copper axe, right, how do we do this bud? Oh, it just said it there, didn't it? Upgrade tool. If I'd stop pressing buttons, it would help. Upgrade tool. Oh, you came here to say goodbye? No, I came here to upgrade my tool. When will you leave? I'll ask Bill to see you off. I'm not leaving. Youth is restless. Do whatever you want. So, what do you want to do now? I want to sharpen the tool. Piece cake. I'll make it good and handy. 20 copper ingots. Mini milk, diamonds and coins. It said copper ingots, but it didn't show it on that screen. Right, upgrade your tool to improve efficiency. I think I just did that, did I not? Oh, no, I see. Now you show me how to do it. Right, so copper axe. This is a free upgrade to start with. Upgrading. Upgraded. Excellent. So let's check the quest. Follow David's guide and complete the crafting of the copper axe. I think I just did, but we'll talk to him again. Copper axe. Brand new copper axe. I believe you can do something with it. Since you decide to stay, you can ask Steve to repair your cottage. You need a decent cottage. I do indeed. Right. So, quest. Ready the materials and go find Steve Lopez at the Carpenters in Northern Town to repair the cottage. It's top priority now. And he's located in Northern Town. So I need 50 sticks, 20 stone and four mahogany. Gain from logging or completing exchange truck orders. Right, okay. Let's head home. Uh, I'm assuming I can't just chop a random tree down. No, it would seem not. So I've got to go home. Uh, and I'm lost already. <laughs> right. I'm liking this. This is this is all right. This is kind of fun. Um. Pretty straightforward. From what I can see, there's lots of craft crafting recipes. There's lots of decoration. Let me click these two buttons up here. What's decoration do? Okay, so there's lots of decoration to get. Garden decoration skins. Ah, okay, skins for your beds, your buildings. The carpets, perhaps? Pendant. Okay, good. Right, menu. Let's have a look in the menu because we haven't really looked through this yet. Now that looks like I've got one space left on my inventory because these others look locked. Yes, yeah, spent 200 coins to extend the bag. Not do that yet because I don't know how hard it's going to be get to get coins. What is that? A chest for item storage. Oh, okay, right, good. I wonder if I can put that down. 
and then we've got outfits that we can wear which i assume help our skills and stuff perhaps lots of things to craft lots of skills to achieve uh, i assume these are all other people lots of people to compete with manual ah oh, okay so this is uh, like a wow okay so these are all the things you can accumulate i'm like i like things like this where you got to collect all the different types of items this really appeals to my uh my game inside and there's lots and this is just uh, beta as well this is early access so i like it lots of achievements oh yes okay right i'm going to play this i am going to oh i've got my chest in my hand at the minute shall we um i don't need to be carrying that we're going home although i'm going to put the chest down i think and see if i can put anything in it um right this is my courtyard um and this is my <laughs> dilapidated cottage let's have a look inside you can go to bed for rest when vitality is insufficient you can only sleep after uh, eight o'clock sufficient sleep recovers more vitality uh, okay sleeping yeah fine i don't want to sleep i just want to put my chest down somewhere and I'm thinking somewhere like, uh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, at the minute. Can I put it there? I can. Can I open it? I can. Excellent. Right, what have we got? Seeds. Spring. Planted in spring grows mature after five days. Planted in spring grows mature after four days. So potatoes and bean seeds. I think that would be probably good to get them going, wouldn't it? because we are in spring are we in spring let me click this no that's not what i wanted oh daily gift let's have a look at this uh giving out free gifts okay can we select claim you're not a member yet whether to enable the subscription i don't want to do the subscription i'm not going to watch the video at the minute because obviously i'm recording a video um Right, so quest-wise, we have to collect wood, stone, and the other stuff, mahogany. Now, there's logs on the ground down here, wasn't there? Let's see, can I collect that log? I'm obviously going to need an axe. Oh, I can. Okay, excellent, right. So... A little sapling there, we'll just chop down. Let's grab some of these. Right, was that adding it up there? Eight, yeah, 11 of 50. Right, okay, so I can go around and collect all these items and it's going to fill my inventory. So what I'm also going to do is I don't think I need wheat on me at the minute. I don't need my fishing rod. I'm going to pop some things in this chest if it will hold them. It will. Right, so let's pop the fishing rod. How do we put the fishing rod in? Do we drag it? We do. Uh, I'm not growing anything at the minute so the watering can can go in. Not even sure what they are for at the moment, so that will go in. What is this? Used to recover 100 vitalities. Right, we'll keep that on us. We'll get rid of that. We'll put the sticks there. We're all organised. Nice and neat. Perfect. Right, excellent. Good stuff. I'm feeling quite confident about this. Can we chop a large tree down? We only can and all. Right, the duration on my pick is, uh, on my pick, on my axe is doing pretty well. 95%. Um, and I got a caterpillar. What does the caterpillar do? Is it in menu? Yes, menu, caterpillar. 
often appears on trees, becomes a butterfly when it ripens, a material to be made to made a material to make various kinds of baits. Okay. The English is the English translation is, is pretty good actually, I have to be honest. Oops. Oh we can chop the stump. Oh I got mahogany as well. Oh perfect. I only need four mahogany is right, okay, so we'll, we'll go with trees. Um uh, what's that? Unlocks at manor. Oh, right, so I can't get in that zone. That unlocks at a later manor level. Um, seems a shame to chop that tree down. Is there any more up here? Uh, let's come around this way. Let's have a look, see what we've got. I'm liking this. I'm having fun. What time is it? Three o'clock. How can we harvest these? Gained from planting can be eaten or made into something or other. I don't know what. Might as well harvest these while we're here. Uh, I'm going to chop this tree down because it's kind of in the way, if I'm honest. Seems a shame. I do like trees. You can just keep your finger on the button and it will continue to chop. I uh, didn't get any more mahogany from that one. Let's harvest the tulip. And we have another little creature, another critter here. It's a shiny and nice uh, carapace. Can be made into fish bait. Okay. Okay, excellent. Right, quests. Right, what I would do between episodes, because I'm going to actually run this as a series, I think. I'm enjoying this. I will collect up the rest of the wood, which is one. Um, I will quarry some stone. And hopefully along the way we will get some mahogany. If not, I'll have to check the exchange truck. Um, and then I will be back to continue. And we'll try and clear up, clean up this area a little bit. Because it's... <laughs> I'd like it neat and tidy. I don't like how these patches of grass uh, and ploughed areas are looking. Um, right, so I'll leave that there. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time. See you later guys.